Hey, me and Matt here, and I'm Killer Kyle. Welcome to another episode of Wheels of Fury. Yeah, Royal Rumble's coming up, so I figured let's do predictions now. And we would start with... Okay, the tag team match, the mixed tag match, we've got the It Couple versus the Quit Couple. Edge and Beth versus... Miz and Maurice. Maurice. Not be surprising you. I think that Miz and Maurice should go over. See, the whole interesting dynamic with this is you have Miz and Edge in a rivalry. Edge is just coming off of his series, if you will, with Rollins, Miz was kind of doing little things here and there, and going to this rivalry with Edge, to have a match, that happens, and Maurice gets involved, and then he knew eventually Beth would get involved. And it's interesting because it was just before day one when Beth kind of returned, if you will, so to speak. She was just finishing up her time uh, on commentary in NXT. So I don't know if, like, she was like, hey, I want to, you know, be involved in this rivalry with Maze and Edge, and so maybe gave up her position uh, on commentary in NXT? I don't know. Yeah. And so, that whole thing went down at, you know, day one, which led us into where we're heading with the Rumble. You say you think Miz and Maurice are going to go over it. Potentially, that could happen. For me, like, whichever team wins, like, okay, good. After this, it's like, okay, where do we go next? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. And I mean, that's the thing. I don't know. Because I still want to see the title on Edge. Yeah. This year, because I know they didn't do that last year, which was pathetic. But yeah. Yeah. Anyways. We got Piper Niven versus Becky Lynch, Scotland versus Ireland, and. As much as I like Piper Niven, I think that Becky Lynch is going to win. I feel like we're going to have a triple threat match at WrestleMania. Bianca Belair, Liv Morgan, and Becky Lynch. As much as, you know, I shit on them calling Piper Niven Dewdrop and not really liking the name, where she is now is actually pretty good. Yeah. I do like the fact that they've taken her character, if you will, and made her more of this, like, badass chick. Mm -hmm. Like, her dewdrop, but she's more of, like, a badass. She's a badass. Yeah. But she, her winning the championship. It's too soon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I mean, who, I mean, it could easily feud with Bianca. 
However, that can wait. <gasps> yeah. So, yeah, I'm gonna take back here on this one. Yeah. We have the Universal Champion Rollins versus Reigns. If you yeah, saw SmackDown, right. you have Seth doing his whole speech, and he had mentioned Mox. Yeah. And not Ambrose, and I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. But if they're slowly turning him face again, apparently, I mean, I guess just because he's facing Roman Reigns. Yeah, I guess. But, I mean, it could go either way. I know Rollins can be the champion and go on to maybe face Edge at Mania, have that rematch. Yeah. However, Roman Reigns is the longest universal champion. Yeah. So, do you want to keep that going? I don't know. Yeah. If you have the title stay on Roman and you keep that reign going, how long do you keep it going for? I feel like they're more than likely going to build up to Roman versus Brock at Mania. Yeah, I know. I don't know if they'll do... You know, title for title, do that whole thing or what, yeah, but not. yeah. No. I think what's gonna happen is you're gonna have we'll get into that shortly. But yeah, you'll see Roman and Brock for the Universal title for sure. I don't wanna see it again, but Yeah, really with you know, the history that it's shown, put those two together and it's bad. Not yeah. very good, but whatever. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to say that Roman is going to retain. Okay. I mean, we'll see, but that's kind of what is they're leaning towards. Yeah. So... Brock versus Lashley, Bellator versus UFC. We've been waiting for this for a long time. Uh. Yeah, and I mean, that's the thing too, like, these two monster guys in the ring, they're reckless. Oh yeah. Like, taking out barricades and, and oh. ounce tables and... All this other stuff. It should be a really, really good match. A really good fight, you can even call it that. Oh, it's going to be a brawl for sure. I'd like to see Lashley go over. I don't think he had a fair title run. I mean, he was dominant. But the way he lost, it was like... Meh. You know. Well, I even made comment about that. I mean, he friggin... Puts Orton through the table and then somehow injures his knee and then Big E cashes in. Yeah. Anyway. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to take Bobby Lashley. Because then that would leave room for Lesnar to go for the Universal title. Yeah. So... Yeah, we'll see what happens. Speaking of the Royal Rumble. You know, we talk about the Forbidden Door. We got Moose. We got... Well, hell, hell, you can even have John Moxley return. There's a lot of things. But, in my opinion, I would either pick Edge. Well, that would be the third time. Yeah. 
but also Big E. Yeah. You know, I think Big E is one of those guys that, yeah, he's a silly guy that likes to make jokes, but when he's in the ring, he can go. Oh, yeah, he can handle his business. You saw what he did to Sheamus last year. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's going to be fun, though. Like, I mean, past couple of Royal Rumbles have been fun. Yeah. So... Yeah, the women's rumble. That should be pretty cool. Mickey James is returning at Summer Ray. Which I said a while ago I thought she got work done, but she looks alright. Yeah. Lita's coming back. Yeah. I think they're planning something for her in the future. I think so. It would be interesting to see others, like I said, the Forbidden Door. Yeah. Rosemary. I doubt that. Yeah. Deanna Perrazzo. You know, if Deanna won the Knockouts Championship, she'd have, like, three belts. Yes. So, yeah, she just won the Ring of Honor Women's Championship, so she's still Reina Del Reina's champion. I think she's still going to face Taya for that. I don't know when, but it's going to be good. What do, you, what do you predict for that match? You know, one thing I found really interesting was Lita had said when she retired, you know, she was happy with, you know, the way her career was and all the things she did in her career and she was just happy doing her own thing and then when the uh, women's royal rumble was introduced she's like hmm i never had an opportunity to compete in that i think i want to have a kick in the can so to speak well it interests me that she said that because i thought she was involved in the first royal rumble for the women I don't think she was. Hmm. No, Trish was. Yeah, Trish definitely was. But I don't think Lita was. Huh. Yeah. Well, anyways, I mean, it's going to be a good show. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Uh, we'll see what happens in the future. But I believe right now, from what I saw from the Impact episode, I watched recently Rebellion's coming up. Yeah. So, look forward to that. And yeah, I'll talk to you then. Bye.